Here we're making a run of C440Bs, our new 10,000 watt controller. And we're going to show how we tweak the uh, little chip inside these computers and uh, reprogram them from scratch uh, to get a little bit higher charging voltages out of them. These are the charge controllers um, we use in the C440. We've got it hooked to a battery. Um, when we first get them, uh, they're basically street light controllers. And uh, they have a menu here. It goes from 7. If you keep pressing the button, you know, it's different times for turning the street light on and off. But we don't really need this feature. So we're going to completely erase the microchip and uh, we're going to program it with our own programmer. And uh, we'll show you how that's done. Okay, this is our uh, C440 controller microprocessor with the backs taken off. And uh, we're going to show you how we uh, program it now. There's uh, six little leads there that go to the microcomputer. And got to make sure it's just done perfectly. And then it goes beep beep. And that means it's reprogrammed. Now uh, we're going to show you what happens when it's reprogrammed. We got to hook up power to it. Okay, we hooked it back up to a battery. And we're going to, uh, I got some glare on the camera there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and press the button. And see, now it just turns on and off. Uh, there's Basically, it says number six. It's locked into number six mode. So when you press that button again and again, you can go ahead and press it slower. What it does is turn into a dump load test. And we've also upped the voltage to 14.2 volts. So now it's going to regulate the battery between 13.8, or excuse me, 13.2 and 14.2 and it's going to maintain a nice high charge level. One of the problems with these controllers, uh, all these controllers you get from China, is they don't give you enough uh, battery voltage. In other words, they tend to drain the battery down, so we've gone ahead and added uh, a little higher voltage. Uh, it keeps the batteries at about 14.2, which is nice. No contact. Reprogramming the chip. This is how we uh, mount the wires. These are solid copper wires. The two black ones go up to the solenoid and provide 12 volt power. And the green one and the red one will go to a 12 volt battery. Now if you have a 24 volt battery bank, you'll just put this red and green wire to a 12 volt section. In other words, a 48 or a 24 battery bank at some point is going to have a 12 volt battery. So you'll just put this uh, uh, red and green wire over to the 12 volt battery. So this is really all 12 volt powered. And what it does is it takes a sample reading of the 12 volt battery and calculates what the whole battery bank will be doing. So whether you use 12, 24, or 48, it's going to sample the 12 volt and uh, take the whole reading. Okay, the two black wires 
we're going to go up to the solenoid and it's just a little bit of current about 200 milliamps that's going to get sent up to the solenoid when the battery voltage gets up to 14.2 volts on the 12 volt cell and that's going to turn the solenoid on and off now it has normally open normally closed positions so you can either set this to open or close any circuit you want 